So this is the um, it's the ASP.NET Core Hello World, and this is it's a very 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 simple application. Um, this little five second GIF shows you the entirety of the application. You just enter your name, and it echoes the name back to you. But it's uh, it's simple enough to just show you how the deployment works without getting too involved with the application code itself. So what I did was I went ahead and just downloaded the zip so I can get to the files um, easily. And uh, so I have that open here in a finder window. And we're just going to go ahead and copy everything. And then I'm going to I'm going to uh, copy this over into the uh, test project directory that I cloned earlier. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, since we had that readme from earlier, just overwrote that. That's fine. So now we have the application code in the directory for that uh, Git project. So before we push this, I'm going to go ahead and edit the manifest.yml file. So as I mentioned, that manifest.yml file is used by Cloud Foundry to, um, to uh, pull in any configuration for the deployment. So... So I'm going to um, edit the manifest.yml file. So as you can see, there's a few different uh, values here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the uh, default application name, and I'm going to go ahead and add my own application name. Um, and also, I'm going to delete this random routes uh, equals true line. Um, if you leave this in, it will give you a really funky host name. But that's a good way to ensure a unique host name, but in this case, we probably don't need it. So you can just remove that line. Um, the memory is just how much memory is allocated to your application. Leave that as it is. And there's some other environment variables that this sample application has. I'm not gonna touch those. We'll leave that as it is. So with that, I'm going to write the file. And so now we have um, our configuration details in that manifest.yml file. All right, so now we should be good to push the application. So as usual, just git add. Going to add git commits. All righty then. And then um, git push. So that was pushed successfully. If we go over to our pipeline, you should see that the build stage has already started running. Now, as I said, that, that simple builder we're using doesn't really do much. It just packages the application files um, and gets it ready for deployment. So now the deploy stage is running. If you click on this uh, deploy job down here, you can see the, the console output of the stage. So you can see what's actually going on behind the scenes. So this is going to take a few minutes. I'll be back when it's done. All right, so after a few minutes, the application deployed successfully. And if you want to go through the logs, you can see that all these um, dependencies were pulled in uh, for your application. Um, but if you scroll to the top, uh, you can see um, the history of deploys on the left side. Um, let's go ahead and go back to our pipeline. You can click on the test project at the top. Uh, both stages passed successfully. Now, if you look at the bottom of the deploy stage, you have this last execution results. Go ahead and click on the View Console button, and that will bring you to IBM to the IBM Cloud uh, overview for your project. If you click on Visit App URL, you'll be taken to your live running application. And here it is. So as I mentioned, it's a very simple application, and it just echoes back your name. So now I'm going to show you how we can actually make these code changes through the browser. So back to our pipeline, I'm going to go back to our tool chain by clicking on the first test project. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the Eclipse Orion Web IDE. All right, so this is Orion. We 
we can expand the list of files from the file explorer on the left side. And let's go ahead and make a change that we can actually see in the application. So I'm going to go ahead and, and expand the source folder, .NET Hello World. I'm going to go into the views. And let's go to home. So index.cshtml. And I'm just going to make an obvious change that we can see on the application. All right, so I changed the heading for the application from welcome to hello there. And now we're good to go. So to push this change, we can go to the little git icon on the left side. It's the one under the pencil. And from here we can um, we can do the usual git add, the git commit, and then the push. So you can see right here on the on the right side, these are the files that were changed. And you can even expand this to see the changes that have went through. And then you just add a commit message. You can click the commit button on the top right. And you can see the outgoing changes listed on the left. So to push this, all you have to do is click on the push button. And that will push to your repo. And after a minute, the push will go through. We can go back to our pipeline by clicking on the little arrow above the pencil icon on the left. Click on delivery pipeline. And just like last time, the stages will start, uh, start by themselves. Um, so this is gonna take about two minutes to finish deploying. I'll be back uh, when it's done. All right, so as you can see, the deployment was successful again. And we can go ahead and click on View Console again and uh, visit App URL. And then you should see that the welcome is now hello there. All right, and that was just a really simple demo of the deployment pipelines with the and the toolchain integration. I hope you all learned something new and useful. And just see which development method works best for you, whether you want to develop locally in your own uh, development environment and then just push using the Git CLI, or if you just want to use the Eclipse Orion Web IDE, um, you can do that as well. Um, so with that being said, I hope you all learned something, and uh, thanks for watching.